Most people in Moldova earn less than two pounds a day. The conflict with Transnistria hasn't helped. Away from the towns, work is scarce and unemployment is high. We're not going to make it out there, are we? When you get outside the capital of Moldova, you realize this is actually a very poor country. And officially, it's supposed to be the poorest country in Europe. And we've come to this village in the southwest of the country where we've been told that villagers have come up with a rather extreme method of earning some extra cash. Thirty-two men in this village have sold one of their kidneys to Westerners desperate for a transplant. Most were paid no more than £2,000. Do you know what happened to your kidney? Do you know who received it? It went to a woman around 40. I saw her. She was preparing for the transplant. Did she speak to you? Did you have any conversation with her? Or... I never spoke to her. She had been given the anaesthetic, so she was unconscious. What did you do with the money? First I bought a cow, then I renovated the house. I bought a washing machine and clothes for the kids. That was it, it was all gone. In many Moldovan villages, only children and grandparents remain. Young adults have gone abroad in search of work. The little one here hasn't seen her mother for five months. Her mother's gone to Moscow, so she can't get a job here, so she's gone to Russia to earn some money. Around a million Moldovans are thought to have left the country. <laughs> <laughs> 